Hello everybody, my name is Chi. Welcome to my channel. So I will be telling you more about the Air Star, Beverly's Air Styler 1000. I'll tell you what I think about it really. So if you want to see how I use it, keep watching. In this bottle I have water and Aussie Moist 3 Minute Miracle Moisturizer Conditioner, more like. So I mixed it with water here and I'm going to be using the Keratin Heat Spray. This one, that's what I'm going to be using. So where's my comb? Where's my comb? Okay. This is, a, um, this is a heat defense shine mist by olive oil. I'm gonna just spray it on there on the one that has been dried already. I'm looking behind because there's a mirror behind. So, I'm putting my hair first.
and I also mentioned that this smells really nice I like it so much Smells nice too. I like it. Okay guys, so watching my video back, the beginning of my video, I've already blow dried the two sections at the back of my hair. So the right side I used the Philips 
hair styler. No, sorry. I used the Babyliss hair styler for the for the side of my hair, the back side. And then I used my Philips hair styler. So I dropped something. So I used my Philips on the left side of my hair. If you notice the length and the volume of my hair, the uh, Babyliss one, which is this one, left my hair shorter but gives it more volume then the Philips one that i used made it straighter and a bit sleeky you know sleekier than this other side so if having volume is what you want i would say use this one use the Beverly's. the Beverly's is for you if you want volume for your hair but if you want a more sleekier look you use this one so after blow drying my hair i still had to go in with this because i wasn't looking for volume really i was looking for a more sleeky look so the attachment that comes with the babblies sorry things keeps falling off <laughs> the attachment that comes with this it comes with a dry nozzle the drying nozzle is this one see what it looks like it looks like a what's it called um it looks like a dyson fan this thing here but i i don't use it and i would not use it because i just don't i just would not use it so the other nozzle is a volume and shape nozzle that's this one here I will not use this I don't know maybe I'm too scared of ripping my hair out so I would not use this but if you want to use it if you're brave enough go ahead um, the next one I think it's in here if I can get it yeah the next one is a the conical barrel the conical barrel is this this is for curls if you want to curl your hair if you want a volume voluminous voluminous curls on your hair you can use this I did not use it I did not use it because I don't want curls on my hair the only heat I use on my hair is with the, the brush this is the only heat I use on my hair because I know my hair if I start using too much heat it will start it will start breaking from the tip the tip will start breaking you, know, you can see I'm looking at the mirror behind so the tips will start breaking and it will, it's gonna cause serious breakage for my hair so I didn't use this so I have a simple hair routine which is condition my hair wash my hair deep condition dry it with this see i'll dry it with this and then i'll put it in a i'll put it in a ponytail and then braid it then take the ponytail out then the next day which is where we are this is what comes out so that's how i achieve the curls that i have here just a single braid at the back and go to bed. And that's how I achieved this. So, second. This got, it has um, three sets in here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. I use the hottest setting because that's what I need to achieve. That's the most heat I can use for my hair. So that's why after using this heat, I don't want to use any more heat on my hair. So I use the hottest setting to go to, you know, that's what I use for my hair. And it's so easy to click in and out. You just put this in together like that. That's it, all done. You see that? Mm -hmm. And if you want to get it out, all you need to do is press these two buttons on the side that's it that's how you take it out do i like it yes i do like it i actually like it because it's got 
I like the brace stove. It's hard, you know, but I can use it. I can actually work with this one. I have the Revlon one, but that Revlon one, I, I just, I still can't use it. It's still new in the box. I've never, I've, I've never used it for all my hair. I've tried a section, but I keep going back to my Philips. So for this Philips, like I said, I used it, I had to use it all around my hair to get a more sleekier look, you know. So for the Philips, this is the second time I've changed the head. I bought that from eBay. Oh, yeah, I bought this from eBay. So um, I'll be buying more because it's a bit fragile. It's not, it's not all that. It's not as rugged as a Babinese one. So I'll be buying more of this. You just click it in. This is my trusted friend here. I trust this one more than I trust uh, any other hair dryer. I like this a lot. This is this is lovely. It's it's nice for my hair. I prefer this one. But my second best of all the hair dryers that I have, I will go for this because I this would last longer if you want value for your money go for this Babylon's hair style 1000 yeah this will this will last longer it looks rugged and yeah i like it too you know will i recommend this yes i would recommend it i, I think i've said it before but yeah i would recommend this so if you live in the uk i don't know if they still sell it but i'm not advertising for them so <laughs> yeah i'm not advertising for them but if you live in the uk you can get i think you can also get it if you live in the if you live in america if you live in the states just go to your amazon and type in uh Babylon's air style 1000 yeah so mm, that's my thought about it i like it and i would recommend it so everyone thank you for that's my son is coming to disrupt my video thank you for watching bye open gate so the babylon's air style comes with a glove that protects your hand from heat yeah that's it